Well, um, Africa is actually our focus area. That's the area where we are working most. Why? Because Africa continues to have a very low share in world trade, something like 3%. And in addition, uh, the per capita exports and the generation of jobs through exports is quite limited. Now, uh, we have uh, tried to identify areas in which the International Trade Center can make the best impact, the best difference. And we are focusing in our program uh, on the promotion of regional trade. Regional because we think that uh, there is so far quite limited trade among African countries. And that's related also to their small size. We think there is more potential. And second, we see that there is tremendous scope in upgrading and diversifying from the agricultural sector. So we have a number of large programs in this area. And thirdly, it's essential for us with our motto of export impact for good to ensure that in particular vulnerable parts of the populations benefit from our programs. That is why we have a number of programs which target sectors in which women owned companies and women employment is high, in which youth is important, and in which rural areas, which so far have not been integrated into, into, into international trade, are better integrated. So, in a nutshell, we have a number of large programs, for instance, a $20 million program to work with the regional integration schemes in West Africa, Central Africa, and Southern Africa. We have a number of sector-focused um, programs in the agriculture sector, but also in music, for instance, how to make a living for music, and in, in manufacturing. And thirdly, a number of programs that target specifically the needs of poor communities and of vulnerable parts of the population. Mozambique is one of our priority countries as an African country and as an LDC. And in fact, it's one of the countries where ITC has been working very intensively. We've had a number of projects. And a country where we see also a tremendous need to ensure that trade is really contributing to the economic and social agenda. For instance, uh, this current year, we expect that exports are of, of an order of magnitude of 3.3 billion US dollars, but imports close to 4.8. So we're having a large trade deficit, which is going to be a major handicap. And we think that actually the potential of the country to export more in a number of different sectors is significant. So we are very glad to have, in addition to our program jointly with UNIDO, a number of other programs, again, which focus on our key impact areas. Mozambique is part of our PACT program, our program where we work for regional integration across the entire continent and benefits from our work in strengthening business sector associations and institutions to participate in the regional integration process, in our sectoral programs to create strong and competitive industries because Africa can compete provided the conditions are right. So, in terms of specific projects, for instance, we are working with a, a project in the SADC region where Mozambique is part and where we connect smallholders and farmers to supermarkets and try to ensure that they can produce and deliver and market more competitively products for supermarkets. We're looking at um, an approach to strengthen the pro-poor tourism concept to make sure that tourism not only brings in foreign exchange but has a direct impact on poverty alleviation. And here we are working with Inatur, one of the um, Mozambican institutions. Um, similarly, we um, are working with the cultural and creative industries, and that's a very interesting program which we are doing jointly with uh, six other um, UN institutions. UNIDO is also part of that, and where the idea is to tap the potential of the creative Mozambican producers in music, for instance, 
in how to um, produce and deliver for international demand. And we have seen there significant opportunities and our uh, specialized staff is working um, with Mozambican counterparts in developing this very promising area. Uh, finally, ITC um, has always this triple approach of working directly with the business sector, of working with trade support institutions, but also of working with policymakers. And here we have a program that focuses on trade policy formulation and management. We work with IPEX and uh, other institutions, and the idea is to ensure um, that the business environment and that the trade policy uh, capacity and competences are strengthened. And we see that uh, in this area in particular that there is a very positive take up of the uh, work that we are doing. I think that for the future of aid for trade and for trade related technical cooperation, close cooperation uh, among the international organizations and the development actors is absolutely indispensable. And um, I am glad to see that um, by teaming up for this particular project, we have been able to extend the basis of expertise of resources, of contacts and of networks for the benefit of our target group of companies in Mozambique. And whereas uh, UNIDO helps, for instance, in methodology and standards, um, we can bring in market knowledge for final demand and for best marketing strategies. And um, I think that uh, it is, uh, for the future, very important to uh, continue along those lines, also there where uh, we can uh, share our facilities. For instance, UNIDO is um, present in the country. We are, ITC is a non-resident agency. We do not have our own staff there. And we have very much benefited from the fact that UNIDO's um, teams can help um, ITC in delivering its work. Now, um, there's a third element which I find particularly promising in the future in Mozambique and perhaps beyond, and that is that the International Trade Center has one, has, has one service which, where we work together with our partners to develop national export strategies which look at all sectors, including those sectors that are not being dealt with by UNIDO like services and agriculture. And, uh, uh, the ITC is currently in the process of formulating such a strategy where then the um, implementation, in particular when it comes to follow up in the industrial sector, will be key. And it's here again where a combined effort of the development partners, in particular of UNIDO and uh, ITC, can make all the difference. So. Um, I am very glad to see that there is a long-standing close collaboration and exchange between Vienna and Geneva to make sure that our work in Maputo is really more effective. And I foresee that uh, in the future this type of uh, joint and integrated approach to trade development, which always needs to tackle bottlenecks and challenges at several levels simultaneously, will become even more important.